the next speaker, Glenn Sutphin. Good evening, City Council. My name is Glenn Sutphin. I'm a accredited press photographer. I lived at 101 Chuck Duck Avenue. Last month, my best friend was murdered in my front yard on February 15th. Um, there's been crime committed and omitted from the records. There are reports that I've filed that I have report numbers and no reports from the police, and it was the third precinct that just got an award for the reduction of crime. I'm really wondering, is it a reduction of crime or is it just not reporting the crime? I've filed reports. I've called. I've talked at great length with Reba Trammell about it. Uh, Douglas Wilder, the former mayor, knew about it. I sent stuff to City Hall. I've been there for 10 years trying to stand up because the city says they want citizens to come out, stand up, and when they do, you make them targets. It's really a bad situation. My family my, is sitting over there. They've, we've just been displaced because of crime. The slumlord that I have rented from for 10 years, his house just got condemned twice. They're for structural and for health inspection that it failed. Now, you know, I'm really at a loss here because I've been living in a motel for the past week and I haven't really been able to prepare a great speech, but I am here talking and trying to figure out what to do because I've been in this city since 88. I gave an oath to the United States Army to protect this country. I gave an oath to the security to you know, protect, do all I can and everything I've done has been, seems like it's been in vain and I'm, like I said, I'm at a very loss here. I thank you for the three minutes that I have to speak before you. I have all this stuff in storage that I can pull out and show you the reports that I don't have, the numbers that I have that there are no reports, and reports just plain not being done at all. You call the police, you expect them to do their duty. They come, they talk to you, and as a accredited press photographer, I have certain things that I have, uh, guidelines I have to go by. I'm not allowed to lie to the police. I'm not allowed to lie to the government. My photos, if I take them, have been used in, as evidence in crimes, but they don't listen to my words in my own yard. And that's pretty much what I, you know, the gist of what I want to say, but there is more going on in the area. It's like Chuckatuck Avenue orbits eight feet above Richmond and nobody does anything there. And now that I'm not there, um, I also would like the landlord to be investigated because he's got six properties in You have 30 city. seconds. He's got Please six properties in summarize. the cities and I want all his properties checked. So thank you. Madam President. Thank you. Mr. Now, yes, Glenn lives in my district, and um, I know that he had come to several of the meetings voicing his concerns about some of the problems over there in that area. And it, it's a shame that Third Precinct has to come all the way from across the river to answer the calls right there in that area when Second Precinct is right there on Belt Boulevard. Um, I have spoken to um, the Major, Major Kyer, and um, I know that some of the and even Captain Steve Drew had um, attended one of the meetings that Glenn had been at and realized that that was in third, not in second, but he was willing to help in any way that he could because the citizens were crying out for help because of the crime in that area. Um, I know that Mr. James Pitts and I spoke last Tuesday at the public safety meeting in reference to going over there in that area to start Neighborhood Watch, and I know that you have said that you wanted to start it. And then the next thing you know, your landlord tells you you've got to get out, that you've got to go find another place to live because I think this, the police brought to the attention that his house had code violations and things like that. And because you spoke in reference to the conditions that you and your family, your child, wife, and mother-in-law was living in, you were told to get out and you, and you had no place to go because I know you and I talked that night where you were just basically homeless, where you were told to get out. 
that's something that we, this council and administration with the mayor here, I know he's listening to you and I know the police chief was here earlier. We need to look at all these things and see what, where the breakdown, where it happened and why it's continued to be, like you said, you're, you're being retaliated because you brought this to the police attention. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Emma. The next speaker, Bishop George A. Robinson. George A. Robinson. The next speaker, Father Muhammad. <clears throat> 